In Creole Parametric, you can export a model to the wavefront.obj format. There are a couple different methods of doing this, and we'll take a look at some of the ramifications. Here I have a part model. I only have one feature. It is a freestyle feature, which creates a quilt. If I want to export this, I can go to File, Save As, and then Save a Copy. And then I can go to the Type drop-down list. Here we have the wavefront.obj file format. I will select it. There is an Options button. And in the dialog box, you can choose if you have construction bodies, if you want to export them. Also, there are some tessellation settings. The first one is tessellate with steps. And as the tooltip says, it will tessellate using steps to create a more regular mesh. I think that's a good idea. And then if you have an assembly, there's the ability to tessellate part components with proportional cord heights and or step sizes. I will just leave the first option checked since this is a part model. Be aware that you can save these settings in a profile and then have a config.pro option point to this profile so that it is loaded automatically. Let me click the OK button with the export settings. You have the ability to change the file name. I will leave it the same name as the part that I'm working on and then I will click the OK button. Then we have a dialog box here. So you have the groups that you want to export. And we have an add button to select what groups that we want. When I click on add, it prompts me to select parts and or quilts to include in one group. I'm going to select the quilts here and then it prompts, oh, let me click the OK button out of the select dialog box. Then I need to pick a datum plane or coordinate system to define the UV map. I will select the default coordinate system. So there I have my group selected. Now be aware this isn't going to work. I'll show you that in a moment. Then we have the deviation control. Here we have the cord height. It is a value of 0.188. That feels a little high to me. Be aware that you can change these values. I'm going to change this to 0.05 for this model. Here for angle control, I'm going to change that from half a degree to a tenth of a degree. And here we have an option for the step size. And this is the maximum step size for our different facets that will be generated. Hey, maybe I want this to be a lower value. And once again, we have the file name. Here I will click the OK button. And here we get the message that zero triangles have been written in the output file. I generally have an issue exporting quilts. So I am going to solidify this. Let's go to the selection filter, just to make it easier to select the quilt and then solidify it. And then I can hit the check mark in order to complete the solidify feature. Now let's try doing an export. I'll go to file, save as, save a copy, and let's change to the wavefront obj file format and i'm going to save it under the same name i get the warning hey the file already exists yes i want to continue and now it's prompted me to select the datum plane or coordinate system to define the uv map let's select the part coordinate system and here we have the group to export it just says item and the coordinate system here we have the same values as before let me change them to lower values and let's see let's change this to 0.1 let me change this just to a value of one so this looks good i will click the ok button and this time you can see a preview of the mesh that was output and here it tells us that in this case 20,560 triangles have been written to the output file so that is good let me repaint the screen I'll show you another way that you can do it. Here I deliberately picked a part file that had a freestyle feature. Let me left click on it and then choose edit definition from the mini toolbar. And you can see that we have our freestyle geometry plus the mesh around it. In the operations dropdown, there's this export mesh command. Be aware that this is not going to export the actual freestyle surfaces and quilts in shape, it's literally going to export the mesh. In other words, if you see these little nodes and the edges between the nodes, that is the mesh. That's what's going to be exported. 
Let's go to Export Mesh. And here it has the name of the object. It is by default the name of the feature. Here we have the type Wavefront OBJ. It's the only option available when you're using the Export Mesh command in freestyle mode. Let's choose the Export button. And don't really see a message in the message area, but that's okay. Let's hit the cancel button to get out of the freestyle environment. Now I'm going to create a new part and take a look at what we actually got. Let me choose new and let me just choose import OBJ as the name, quite literally. And I'll click the OK button. So now in my new part file, I can go to the get data drop down menu and let's choose import and let's import let's do the mesh first here we have the freestyle obj file i will choose the import button and then we have the file dialog box where the import type i have it set to automatic you can choose if you want geometry or facets it's going to bring in facets let's turn off the option to generate the log file and click the ok button out of there and then let's click the check mark out of the import dialog box. And like I mentioned, you are literally getting the mesh that was used to control that freestyle feature. So you see it is very blocky, not something I'd probably want to work with. Let's try importing the other object. Let's go to get data and then import. And let's choose our first OBJ file that we exported. I will choose the import button and once again we have the options for the import type log file is still turned off let me click the ok button out of that dialog box and in this particular case let's go to body options and i'm going to create a new body just so i have the ability to control the visibility let me hit the check mark and so right now the two bodies are on top of each other let's go to the design items folder and expand that let's expand bodies and let's select body one and then hide that and let me select the facet feature hide that so there you can see the import that we got in the second case where i'm getting again a, a pretty good mesh of my solid geometry so there you can see how you can export an obj file using a couple different methods and the different results in the imported geometry i hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www.creowindchill.com if you learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like this video please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.